Hello and welcome to the Love Talk, where we confront myths and misinformation about relationships. Where couples and singles learn to love intelligently. Is it possible to have a modern date and yet apply some good old fashion values? Indeed. That's right. That's exactly what we're going to be covering in today's program. Even though they are old values, uh, old fashioned values, it doesn't mean they are outdated. This is very important. You want to stay tuned. Yes, you have to stay with us. But before that, before we go any further, we're going to go now to Pizza Man. That's right. Our trip for two, where we learned uh, last, last time we learned how to make pizza, gluten free pizza, by the way. And today we are going to actually make the pizza. Yes, okay. this guy went to the kitchen. So. Wonderful pizza, wonderful pizza. <laughs> and after the break, when we come back, it's Dear Love Talk. Stay with us. Now we are going to make our own pizza. Andrea will take us through, Mr. Abdel. But it's going to be all us. All us. And it's going to be burrata, which is uh, a special cheese from Buffalo. Is that right? Exactly. All right. Very good one. Genuine. It's the creamy one. Creamy. Is the top quality of Ah, uh, I'm going to. <laughs> Let me show you here, cameraman. Nothing left, just well, as one nice. left. One left, gone. Pizza <laughs> is top Delicious. notch. Delicious, yeah. So let's go, Andrea. Don't press. Yeah. Only. Only in the middle. Only in the middle. Okay. Ah, yeah. There you go. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> it's very soft. Now you remove the flour. Make this and start to move Spin. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's terrible no, after you. Yeah, you try. Like this? Like this. Yes. Yes. For the Finally, something that you can time, cook. So it seems better than me. Do I have to, to stretch it? You're doing it square. Yeah, though. I know. I know. It's quick. Your square. pizza is becoming a square. Uh -huh. Andres like is our guy who fixed it. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Hey. All right. He's gonna try. Ah! Oh, there we go. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> good. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to happen. And start the burrata. The burrata. Okay, so what okay. do we do? So what are the ingredients for the burrata? Burrata is only tomato sauce. Uh -huh. Okay. Some cherry tomato. Uh -huh. Some Parmesan cheese. And we put it in oven because burrata we can't cook it. Oh, okay. It must be baked. Okay. We baked pizza after, after we put food. burrata. On. Okay. Oh, good. okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Center, center. Oh. Ah. You put oh, all on the middle, oh, okay. and, then and, and, you and then you do it. Good. Is this okay? Yes. Kind of. Kind of. Ah. I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> okay, and now? Now some Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese. You go for the Parmesan and the basil. More? Some chili to my good. Um. Yeah, look at your tomatoes. It's okay, I'll move it's okay. it. Uh, it's okay. More? Okay. It's some okay. more, I think. Basil. Some more? Yeah. Some more. Then get some basil. Wait. Okay, basil now. You do it now. Basil. Okay. Like what? <laughs> uh, I don't know. This is three uh, leaves. leaves. Yeah? Like this? Exact. Our pizza is becoming really beautiful. Now in oven. In the oven? Yes. Uh, okay, you do that part. I will. I'm gonna try. stay over here. Here we go. I'm here. Yeah. Okay. Careful. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go, ahead. go, go. go. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Now you go inside. In the oven. And leave it there. Okay. Okay. Hello? <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, goodness me. We For go. the first time. For the first time, okay. It's funny okay. shape. Uh huh. Funny shape. So you yeah. see now more we things. we finished burrata. Okay. 
Do the olive oil. Olive oil. Good. Cut. Cut. It's a funny, strange shape. Ooh, You're not cutting it correctly, well, you but cut okay. Just once. Just once. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. now one here. One here. Okay. 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 Now we add some rocket salad. Mm -hmm. So you see, this is very interesting because otherwise, if we didn't have the strip for two, never make him cook anything, and he seems to be enjoying himself. I'm more like the guy who eats some some uh, chili tomatoes. Chili tomatoes. Chili tomatoes. Great date. My hope okay. is that he was going to get used to it and cook and for me at home. Now we add burrata. Burrata, burrata. burrata is dark. Wow. Is like, ah, okay. like dark. Okay. Of course, to open, we take the head and we open in the middle like this. This is burrata. A little oregano. oregano. <laughs> Voila. So guys, here it is. Burrata first, pizza. First time my husband cooks for me, only on trip. Uh, not entirely, two. right? The shape's not that great, but we're gonna taste it now. I think the taste is what matters. Yes. So, great tip for trip for two, right? And great way for you to and get your partner way. to cook for you if he doesn't. Exactly. Hello, our YouTube viewers. We are the presenters of the Love Talk Show. I am Rafa. And you know who I am, <laughs> Luke. <laughs> and we are here to um, encourage you to share the, the, this, this channel um, with uh, your friends, your family members. Invite them to watch our, our shows because, you know, our desire is to help couples and singles do better in their relationships or future relationships. So um, subscribe to this channel, share on your Facebook page, share the link with, with everyone you know so that it can learn intelligent love. Also, leave us our comments and your questions. Now it's time for Dear Love Talk. You know, look, many people, when they um, face a problem, they struggle in their relationship, in marriage, you know, whatever, their heart is involved, they go, I have done everything I knew. I've done everything and I couldn't solve this problem. I can't change the situation. There is nothing more to do or I don't know what to do. This is a time where you should <laughs> contact us because there might be an answer mm -hmm. to your struggle. Sometimes it's something very small that the person has to do. It's something very, very small that they are not seeing. It's a small step. Yeah, it's just a small step. Sometimes it's irreparable, but many times it's small things, it's small steps that you need to know in order to solve and, your relationship problem. And we don't disclose anybody's name here, by the way. You can write to us anonymously. You know, be sure that uh, your name, you know, we're going to answer your questions without, uh, uh, without any doubts, okay? So let's go into the first question then. Would you like to read the first question? Yes, indeed. How far is too far when dating? When I'm with my boyfriend, things tend to get heated. Mm -hmm. He sometimes asks me to do things that I honestly don't feel comfortable with, but I end up doing them anyway because I don't want to disappoint him. However, I end up feeling guilty right after. He is my first boyfriend and he has more experience than I do, but I tend to feel ashamed after I do certain things with him. I don't know how to put boundaries because I love him. What do I do? Mm -hmm. The first question is, do you love yourself? First, Thank you, I was before, gonna say that. Before loving him, because apparently you don't love yourself. Mm. By uh, uh, subjecting yourself to, to such things, feeling terrible after, just because you wanna please him, maybe not lose him, oh, because for like various, she, uh, for various him. reasons. Not only because she says she loves him, but maybe it's hard to find another one, maybe he's cute, or maybe, you know, it's I mean, first boyfriend. first boyfriend, she doesn't know how, she thinks that that's the way it's supposed to be, which is not, because look the way you feel. Uh, one advice is to take a fire extinguisher when you go to date him. <laughs> so put his fire out, okay? <laughs> right on his face, by the way. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. right, that doesn't, doesn't work, but um, once again, 
I, I, mentioned, uh, I, I mentioned this from time to time to, to every woman that writes to us, self-value, love yourself. Women nowadays need to love themselves, value themselves a bit more. Sometimes they give themselves way too easy. And too quickly. And they want respect. They want, they demand respect, they demand respect and more and more respect, but they themselves don't offer that respect. And, you know, they're, uh, uh, you know, they, 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 they give themselves away uh, too easily. And in order to keep a relationship, perhaps, I don't know, that's what they go through. Unnecessarily, if, if, if that's what you consider love, you said you love him, I don't know if you believe that he loves you. If you consider that love, then uh, you need to watch our, our programs a bit more often because you're not exercising intelligent love. It's like this. She, in the name of love, she's doing things, well, supposedly in the name of love, but she's disrespecting herself. What she believes is the right thing to do. So it's, it's, it's more, more common than, than not. That you say, oh, it's because, you know, this relationship is important to me and I love him, you know, and that's what he does and that's what he likes. But how about what you like? Mm -hmm. Before having a relationship with someone, you have a relationship with yourself and yeah. you can't betray yourself mm -hmm. because of anybody. And that's what you're doing. You are betraying what you believe you should do because of him. So you can't do that. You can't. Mm -hmm. So if, first of all, she needs to uh, put a stop to it. She's the one. If she waits, things will only get worse and worse. She needs to put a stop to it. She needs to talk. You need to talk to him. You need to talk to your boyfriend. Put a stop to it. If one thing that I think they should do, when you go out, when you're together, don't be alone. Mm -hmm. That helps. Don't yeah. be alone. Be in a public place. I think it's going to be very hard for you to do any of the things that you say you don't feel comfortable with in a shopping mall, for example. So oh. that's one. But if the price for you to respect yourself, respect what you believe in, is end this relationship, then by all means. But I don't think you need to go that far. If you know what you want, you know what's set right. Set boundaries, yeah. once again. Set boundaries and see the way he's going to react to those boundaries. If he, he realizes that he's, you know, uh, misjudging you, if he's, um, you know, not doing right, that's a positive thing. So he changed, you guys come to an agreement, no more. Excellent. But if you feel that, you know, after that, he's going to be a Didn't bit more like distant, yeah. you know, he's now avoiding you, then good riddance, I say, because you don't deserve that. Okay? Um, let's go into the second question now. How do I get my partner to feel more comfortable with the fact that I am in a successful career? I guess this question comes from a woman, by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And it's, it doesn't bold well. <laughs> yeah. I think there is a lot of things in that question there. How do I get him to be more comfortable that I, with the fact that I am in a successful career? What does that mean? Yeah. Why does, first yeah. of all, why is he feeling uncomfortable? Yeah. What, do, what does she mean by feeling more comfortable? Yeah. Mm. I think... And why is he feeling uncomfortable? Is it because she makes more money than him? Is it because he's an unemployed? or, I don't know, she rubs it on his face, or maybe <laughs> maybe she doesn't do that, but he can't put up with the success of a woman. He maybe, maybe he thinks that he m must do better. It, it, it's a quandary. I think... Uh, uh, this is something that we, 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 we come across very often nowadays. Time, yes. yes, very often, uh, more, than, more than ever. Um, more than ever. Um, when women, you know, they have, a, you know, a certain uh, career, mm -hmm. they're doing well financially, and it's, it's not wrong. It's not wrong. It's, mm -hmm. it's good. But the problem is that how some of them handle it and how some of the men that they are with can handle it. Because some men are okay with that. Mm -hmm. They have a good job, a good financial life also, and they don't have a problem with the woman. Uh, making more money. The problem is that sometimes, most of the time, we deal with this on a regular basis. We talk to people, we've spoken to uh, countless couples about it. When we see uh, uh, the woman doing better than the man when it comes to career, and there's a problem where the, the woman becomes a bit more bossy. Um, her mannerisms, even when talking to us, 
In counseling sessions, we see the way she, you know, she talks and etc. She looks very, very, I'm sorry to say sometimes, very arrogant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not saying that she has to belittle herself, of course not. But, you know, she's the boss in her workplace. No, she has men working under her, under her uh, responsibility, a group of people, I don't know how many. And when she gets home, she has to shift. Yeah. And that might be a problem. When, when she says, um, doesn't feel comfortable, for some reason, although I can't be sure, I don't believe it 100% that he's not comfortable. It's just that, like you said, many women, because we, we talked, we counsel many women who come to our seminar. It's like this. I have my career, okay? I have my career and everything else comes after. So mm -hmm. you have to adapt to me, to what's important to me. You have to understand that I don't have time. The time that you want. I can't give you the attention that you want because I have a successful career, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's the problem because it's all me. What is important to me, I have fought so hard to be where I am, which is valid, which is good, but not to the price of a relationship. Mm -hmm. If you put your career above your family, always, then that's where it's going to be. How do you expect the guy to say, yeah, 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 you don't need to do anything or, you know, I would make most effort, the most effort for this relationship, you just worry about your career and we're going to be happy and we're going to be fine. Mm -hmm. It's not going to work. So you have to see there if it's really him who is not comfortable or if it's you who are being, and, like and you said. The, as I said, there's nothing wrong with women working. However, it, it will affect the, the house, the family, if they have children. You know, uh, we know the man is the provider, he's the leader. He's there to lead, to provide. So he's ahead, he's in front. He, 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 knows he's gonna, he knows he's gonna wake up early in the morning, spend the whole day working hard, return home at the end of the day. We're not saying that the woman must be waiting for him, but it might be the case in which the woman is not there when he arrives because she's also coming from work. Or, you know, when they're supposed to be together, she has a meeting that she needs to attend. He also has a meeting. Sometimes even the kids are neglected. Um, it's, it's a big issue, so it, it has to be well discussed and see where the problem is. You have to go to the root of the problem, okay? Visit our website, uh, lovetalkshow.tv. You have links to, uh, to our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, where you can watch uh, some of our pre previous programs and who knows, you may find some of the answers there. Uh, also, if you want to write to us, write to questions at lovetalkshow.tv. We will answer your questions here, clear out any doubts that you may have about your relationship or those of you who are single also will be more than glad to give you some very nice and powerful tips here, <laughs> okay? Do you know what intelligent love is? Uh, but you can find out on our site. It's lovetalkshow.tv. Many people, they struggle in love, in their relationships, they keep losing their hearts, their feelings, and everything always goes to waste. So if you want to learn to love intelligently, that's the place you should visit, lovetalkshow.tv. We also have our Facebook page, our Instagram page, Love Talk Show. So visit us. I just agree with everything she said. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to The Love Talk and today's topic for those of you who just joined us now is modern dating old fashioned values. Can that work? Yes. Huh? So, yes, it can. <laughs> <laughs> so um, just before we go any further, if you would like to know more about uh, the seminars that we hold, uh, more about the show, other topics, you visit our website, lovetalkshow.tv. You also find a link to our YouTube channel so you can watch uh, previ the, previ the previous two segments of today's show and also previous, previous shows um, where we discuss uh, different topics here. Um, does that work for you? It works for me. Modern dating and old-fashioned values? Absolutely works for me. It's a, it's, it's a tough thing nowadays, yeah. you know? to keep old values and especially the way the world is today 
people dating online, meeting each other online, and um, receiving all kinds of information. And you know, we know it's not the same as back in the days. However, we we have two guests here today. Right now, we're going to speak to one of them, mm -hmm. in which you help us. Uh, dig a bit deeper on the subject and we are here with Joanne Scrivener Cox. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good to have you here. Thank you. <laughs> so you're gonna help us then decipher this, you know? Enigma. Enigma. Yes. Modern dating, old-fashioned values, mm -hmm. right? So tell us a little bit about your then perhaps past relationships. Well, um, because of how I grew up, so I grew up in a broken family, my dad wasn't around, and I can definitely say that that kind of contributed because I never felt that I had the love that I needed mm -hmm. growing up. And I was bullied a lot as well, so I had a lot of low self-esteem issues. So when I was getting older and seeing sort of all the people my age having boyfriends, dating, getting noticed by guys, and I wasn't, I was just like, what's wrong with me? I felt really even worse about myself. So I started to dress in a way that would try to attract attention of, of males because mm -hmm. I wasn't getting it any other way. Just to feel accepted, to feel loved mm -hmm. in a way. Mm -hmm. And that led to a lot, of, a lot of problems, I can say that for sure. I started dating quite young, like around 12, if you can call it dating. Wow. Like, <laughs> if you can call it that. Mm -hmm. but, um, <clears throat> but as I got older, it was like... I got I, I started meeting people online, so sort of on Facebook and just on the other social media at the time that was popular. I would talk to boys on there, and then I'd arrange to meet with them. So that was the type of modern dating Indeed. style, yeah, right. And that led to what I don't know, maybe some sort of frustration relationships. Well, because each relationship didn't last too long. I can mm -hmm. say sort of the longest that I had was about six months, roughly. Mm -hmm. Um, but it was always the same. So I would either get cheated on or I would just get bored or the person would just not, would just not be interested in me anymore mm -hmm. and I wouldn't understand why. I would, it, did, and did you end up like losing faith in men? I did. You could say. Because it's, it's like, it was just a recurring cycle, especially when I got older, the people that I was with, they would cheat on me with friends of mine. And it's, it's like every time it happened, it sort of broke my heart a bit by bit until I just got to a point where I was like, I have, there's nothing left. Mm -hmm. There's nothing left to, to break. And it's like I became numb to, to the pain. Would you continue going <clears throat> to relationships or you completely lost faith um, and no more? I would go to relationships, but it was with a different Approach. mentality. Uh -huh. So instead of sort of going for love or whatever, I would go to play games with them. Mm -hmm to go and mess with them, you know, you're not going to mess with me first, I'm going to do it first mm -hmm. before do you it have first, the before chance. Before you do it to mm -hmm. me, so. Mm -hmm. But that, did yeah. that make you feel any better? No, any it made me feel worse, actually. Mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. it, I thought it made me feel better because I felt like, yeah, I'm getting my own back, you know, but it, it didn't, I still felt like just destroyed inside. It's like, I just thought all men were the same, you know, you can't trust them. So it's like, even though inside I did want to have a stable relationship. I believed in marriage, you know, I wanted to have that in the future, but because of everything that had happened, I just didn't even believe it could happen. I was like, mm -hmm. it's just not. So deep inside you believed in marriage, but you couldn't see that happening to you. Uh -huh. It's like I gave up on that mm -hmm. vision that I had. And, that and, and, and how, did that, how did that influence you um, in terms of how approaching, you know, future relationships? You know, you, 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 you said that you had lots of disappointments, yeah. lost faith in men, uh, began to play with their feelings, mm -hmm. but you continued yeah. going to relationships. So how those past experiences influenced you uh, towards the, the, the other relationships in the future? I was more careful. Mm -hmm. I was more, I was, I can say like paranoid, like I'll be more careful, I'll be more like, suspicious, I wouldn't trust the person, mm -hmm. I'll be very clingy, like, it's, it was like, what you, do, like, you know, you're just like, you don't trust the person, even though there was no reason not to trust the person, it was just like, there was all these thoughts in my mind that like he's going to do the same thing that happened yeah. before. This is what something I, want, I wanted to ask you, because you have a history of being cheated on, so 
immediately when you saw a potential relationship, you thought, man, you know, guys are cheaters. Mm -hmm. they, this, will probably, this one will probably cheat on me. After you had that experience and you were afraid now, you mm -hmm. know, of, of experiencing the same thing again, was there any of your relationships where you, you thought, you know, this could have been good, but because of my fear, I'd say, it didn't or no, it just never happened? No. <laughs> until, until like now, but uh, not. Yeah, as you said, you, yeah. you became completely numb. Yeah. Right. So that's how it was your approach to relationship. Um, this is exactly what 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 we see happening, right? Two people who, as she said, uh, didn't have good role models. Mm -hmm. So as she put it very well. Started from a very early age, uh, not having anyone to relate to to that, um, you know, any good role models. So I don't know, maybe she became insecure, uh, doubtful, fearful, not knowing how to approach uh, a relationship. And to make matters worse, coming across a man who deceived her, cheated on her. So it's, as she said, she became numb. I, it, I'm used to it. Maybe this is how it is. and. Deep inside, okay, I, I, I believe in marriage, maybe in the sense of marriage exists, mm -hmm. but it's not for me. It's not gonna happen to it's me. It's not gonna happen to me. I, I see it happening to others, but it might not happen to me. You see that the heart is so deceitful that even something that is supposedly good, so if she, she was cheated on before, things were bad, so it, it's supposed to make you careful, yes, but not, um, cynical, not, you know, numb, but like mm -hmm. she became. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have faith in men, if you don't have faith in relationships, you shouldn't be in a relationship, but it, the heart makes you, you keep going, you keep trying, even though deep inside you don't believe. If you do something that you already don't believe on, the chances are it's not yeah, going And you see that she kept going. She was on a row, right? <laughs> even though it wasn't working, she, was, she kept she going, kept going, kept going. Going strong. So, um, we're gonna have another guest now. We're gonna get that uh, a, a, a different, from a different uh, gender, a man now. We're gonna have a man sharing, a, sharing with us a little bit of his experience. And after we're gonna have the two of them here, so then we can see if modern dating with a little bit of old fashioned values can work. That's right. And we are here now with Moses Kazibwe. How are you, Moses? I'm well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Good, <laughs> thank you for coming. I wanna go straight to the point with you <laughs> and ask you about what you told us, okay? Yeah. Um, before the, 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 the program, you said that you were in a relationship for four years. Yes, I, right? was, I was. How long ago was this relationship? Um, this is about three years ago. Three years ago. Yeah. And you said that um, even though you knew it wasn't going to work, you I kept see. going. Yeah, I still <laughs> persisted. <laughs> yes, why? Um, reason being is because I always thought to myself that um, at some point things would change mm -hmm. in terms of her as, um, as a person. So I, I always kept thinking to myself that, okay, um, just give her a little bit more chance. What, what was it in her that you expect to change? Was there something that you didn't like about her? Um, it's just mostly some character issues okay. that I, um, I didn't like, because for me, trust was a big thing. Mm -hmm. And she knew that, and she knew that um, if she breaks that trust, then there's no way I'm gonna trust her ever again. So I, I, I made that clear from, from day one. But um, I mean, something happened um, when we, we were the th on the fourth year, we were kind of on and off. And then something happened when we were off and we wasn't speaking at the time. And I found out from, um, I mean, a friend of mine, what exactly happened was that um, whilst we were off, there, there was a guy that um, re liked her at her gym. And he's tried many, many times before to try to get with her, but um, she always rejected. But at the time that we were off, um, he he found out, and then he, I mean, started to to get a bit more um, close, and um, she she didn't go out with him, but they started talking, and I didn't know about that, 
and I found out from someone else. And for that reason, I said to myself that I can't trust you because she should have told me. And her excuse was that, oh, we wasn't talking in the first place. So, so you, you're not, you had not broken up, it was just some time off. Yeah. Is that thing, they were on a break. Yeah, on a break, <laughs> on a break. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we, we were on a break at, at the time. And then her excuse was that because we weren't talking at the time, so I thought it wasn't necessary for me to, for me to tell you, even though nothing happened, but I just thought it wasn't necessary for me to tell you. And I, I said to her that if you're doing this whilst we're on a break, imagine later mm -hmm. on in the future. And then I thought to myself, I can't, I can't carry on like this. But even before that incident, did you, were you already not very happy with the relationship? Yes. Um, you, kept, you kept going? I, yeah, I still, yeah, I still so kept So you going. ignored all the signs that your reasons were giving you? Yeah. And you followed your heart? Yeah, and right? not only reasons, but also things that people would tell me. Mm -hmm. But then I, I always thought to myself, no, well, she can't do that. And um, every time I hear something, she will always change the story. She always has her point of view. And um, I mean, it was, there was an incident again that happened at her workplace where um, she, I mean, someone told me that what exactly happened at her workplace, but when I confronted about it, she, she said to me that, oh, it was a complete opposite and how she, she, she nearly got raped. That was the final straw for me. Um, she basically slept with a guy at her workplace and that was it for me. That was the final straw. And I thought to myself, no, nah, this, this can't happen. We, this definitely can't um, go on anymore because mm -hmm. I thought to myself that we can give you a chance for you to, to, to get yourself together and for you to grow and, um, but mm -hmm. you, you clearly are not serious and I haven't got time for me to, to waste to. So could you, could you say that you were not um, perhaps uh, valuing you yourself, like giving value to yourself because you were, in spite of seeing all those things and not feeling comfortable or confident about the relationship, yeah. you kept going. I'll, so I'll, you're putting her before you. Yeah, I, was, I would say that I was, I was blinded, to be honest, mm -hmm. because I, I, I couldn't see the reality that was right in front of me. I was just pretty much just being oblivious to it and, and thinking that, okay, let's be positive here. She can change, we've, we've all changed, she can change as well, give her a chance, but mm -hmm. that chance never came. Yeah, oh. this. <laughs> Moses is one of the exceptions because mm -hmm. a lot of people do this. They see things that they don't like. Mm -hmm. That mm, like if I have to live with this person for the rest of my life, this will be an issue. But they say, let's give it time. This is time this, will change. This is one of the signs of modern dating. Okay, what you just said, and plus dating for four years. <laughs> I mean, that's <laughs> we we we've we've seen. Cases in which people go on uh, uh, dating on, uh, I mean, on and on and on, right? For seven, eight years. I've heard a case of eight years. So, you know, this misconceptions, the wrong approach, and, you know, unfortunately what happened to him happens to many others. When they, you know, they keep procrastinating, postponing the decision they should have made long ago, seeing that they are getting hurt, um, it's not gonna work but they end up putting the other person b before themselves. And what right? happens is that they insist on something they see is not gonna there work. There's no... And then later on, there's, there's no way to ignore it anymore. Mm -hmm. And now there's people heartbroken, yeah. Yes, there's no sign of, 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 of a, a good and healthy relationship. So we're gonna go for a short break right now. And when we come back, we'll have them both here then, um, Joanne and Moses. No, uh, revealing to us the secret because things changed for them and how it works. Modern dating with old fashioned values. Stay with us. Hello everyone, we are here to invite you to our Love Talk seminars every Thursday at 8 p.m. on the address that you can see here at the bottom of your screen. Um, you can also find more details on our website, lovetalkshow.tv. Um, we, you find events throughout the year. They are all free, um, you, where you're going to learn a lot about relationships. Um, you know, singles and couples are invited. Our, our desire is to share with you a little bit of what we've been through and also, you know, help you 
uh, with prayers, with advice, with counseling, uh, down-to-earth teachings in which we will help you become a better man, a better woman, a better husband, a better wife, and see you know better, better results of your uh, investment when it comes to uh, relationships. Okay, every Thursday, 8 p.m., Love Talk Live on this address here that you see at the bottom of your screen. Hello and welcome back to the Love Talk. And today's topic is modern dating, old-fashioned values. values. And we have here with us Moses and Joanne, who is back. Yes. <laughs> no longer numb. No. <laughs> so, now we want you to prove to us that it works, that it's possible to, you know, date in today's time with some old-fashioned values, right? Mm -hmm. Even though they're old, that doesn't mean they're outdated, mm -hmm. yeah. right? So, and then, um, let's go into individually, individual changes, how you recover from what you told us in the previous segment, mm -hmm. and into the lovely <laughs> encounter. <laughs> <laughs> so, shall I go first? Yeah, yeah. go first. <laughs> Ladies first. Um, well, for me, um, it was more of I had to really fix what was inside of me because I had no self-value. I had low self-esteem. I didn't think much of myself. So for me, it was to, it wasn't so much about trusting men again. It was more about rebuilding my self-value, sort of loving myself for who I am because I learned that if I love myself for who I am, then subsequently I will not accept just any rubbish mm -hmm. from anyone. I will, I will sort of be more... Even though I was more protective of myself, but in a good way, mm -hmm. in the sense that I didn't jump head first mm -hmm. into another relationship. Would you, would you say that. that before you were trying to find someone to complete you, but now you're complete on your own? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. It's like before I was trying to, because literally I would finish one relationship and then go into another one. So I was trying to find like an escape, something to fill. Mm -hmm. But because now I had learned to love myself and what I, who I really was as a person, like I learned about me. I didn't know who I was before. I learned who I was, so I was already com I was complete, therefore within. So, so, I didn't so then, how was it when Moses showed up? So, <laughs> how was the reaction? Because having faced all that before, now you a different person. What was the experience then? Well, so compl I believe it was totally new. Yeah, because the thing was, I didn't actually meet him face to face. It was through friends. So mm -hmm. several people had mentioned him to me and I was just, I wasn't really bothered. I was like, you know, if he wants to talk to me, fine. If not, fine. I'm not desperate for a relationship kind of thing. <laughs> but then he wasn't interested at first. He said no. So then I was like, okay, like move along. Just mm -hmm. continue with my life kind mm -hmm. of thing. And then it was only like after another year that... Um, but he, but yeah. then going through... All everything went through, and then now again having a, a, the pros, the prospect of a relationship right in front of you. Mm -hmm. So talk us through that experience. Now no longer having the the fear, the low self esteem. You um, know. I didn't rush into anything, so I took my time. I before even getting into like dating or a real relationship with him, I wanted to find out about him, what he was about. We just spoke, like, just find out about each other. Like, just like, you know, see, okay, does this have the potential to go anywhere? Can I already see from just talking to you that it's not going to work? Or do I think that there's actually potential here mm -hmm. for something to actually mm -hmm. grow out of this? So I wasn't in any rush to jump into a relationship. I took my time to fill him out to make sure Good. that he ticked my box. Yeah, that's right. uh -huh. Uh -huh. yeah so that's mm -hmm. it really, guess. Um, I mean, <laughs> like, like she said, um, at the beginning, um, a lot of friends suggested that to me and I, I thought that she wasn't my type at the beginning. And every time her name came up, I would always brush up, I'm not interested. And then, um, main thing that really helped me in, um, in, in this, in this uh, Love Talk seminar was that you need to wake up and stop wishing for a dream girl that doesn't exist. That was a wake up call to me because mm -hmm. I, I had in my mind the type of wife that I wanted. And then um, when I heard it, I thought to myself, but surely you can 
aim for that. But then, um, I mean, an example that was given was that um, you can have a very, I mean, not to, to compare women with, with a car, but it made sense to me as a man, from a man's point of view, mm -hmm. it made sense to me. So uh, what they said was that um, you can't have a Lamborghini. Um, the outside is brand new, but the inside is rotten. It's, it's not gonna last long, it's not mm. gonna get you anywhere. Mm. And I thought to myself, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You'd have a trophy girl, but the inside would be rotten. And if the inside is rotten, then you're gonna have many problems. So you're, no long, you're, you're saying that you're, you were no longer aiming just the, 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 the exterior, but the interior, interior also. Yeah. Now, what about yourself? Um, your approach to this new relationship after having changed? What yeah. were the things, first of all, are the things that changed inside of you? Yeah. And how was the experience with Joanne? The, the things that changed inside of me was that um, I, I had to learn within myself to say to myself that I have to, to wake up and see um, the reality of, of things. I, I can't be too deluded anymore. Mm -hmm. I can't want to, 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 um, to, this, to deceive myself to think that, okay, um, I will try to make things work by myself. I had to admit within myself that I can't do it on my own. I needed help. Mm -hmm. And um, me seeking for that help, I was able to to um, to, to find that um, internet, should I say, inside of me, because I, I I went to seek for that help, and that helped me um, a lot for me to be able to to move on from where I was before with the, um, with the, with the failed relationship mm -hmm. to now um, mm -hmm. meeting Joa. And what's different? You've had relationships before, oh, so tell us what's different. A, a lot is yeah. different. <laughs> a lot, a lot is different. <laughs> Um, trust, I can trust her. That's definitely one of the main things. Um, I, can, I can be wherever. I mean, I, I, I was away um, last year um, overseas and then I knew that I had no doubts within myself that um, she wasn't gonna do anything or, or that be talking to anyone or um, be speaking to someone in the gym, <laughs> for example. <laughs> so I, I had that trust within myself that- um, Do you go to the way. gym? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're so sure though. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so um, the trust was, was, a, um, was what, a... What old fashioned values do you guys apply to this relationship? If we can call them old, as I said, but they are not outdated, but... Um, old fashioned, one of the old fashioned values was um, being able to save together because a lot of people I know outside, they can't do that. They don't trust their partner to be able to save together and have a joint account. Mm -hmm. That that in itself was 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 um, was, was a big thing because for me, I I at the beginning I really struggled to save. Literally, I'll, I'll get get I'll, I'll get them, <laughs> I'll get money and then I would like to spend it on Flesh things. It uh -huh. Yeah, but when Joanne um, came into my life, I, she really helped me for me to be more focused. In, um, mm -hmm. in, in having a goal in, 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 in saving together and having the same money because I, I understood that my money is, is mm -hmm. her money mm -hmm. and vice versa as well. How yeah, about you, know. you Joanne? Um, for me, I think a few, like we're very, there's no secrets between us that like we're very yeah. open. So say for example, I like, like he's saying about money, yeah. he lets me have access to his account, not to do anything, but just to help him like, we have each other's passwords for stuff, so it's like, even though yeah. some people are like, why does he need access to your phone? Why yeah. can't he just trust you with your phone? But for me, I'm like, I have nothing to hide, so what's the problem with mm -hmm. him having access to my phone? And mm -hmm. he doesn't have social media, so I do, but he will take my phone, he'll look at my social media, and I have nothing mm -hmm. to hide with that. But also something else as well, this is even some, a concept that I had before I even developed the self-value. It was just like a moral that I had to save myself for marriage. And it's something that we still practice until mm -hmm. until now. Yeah. So, so. In, in times when people think that, you know, it's okay to, to sleep together and, and, you know, you like each other, you love each other, mm -hmm. you might even spend the rest of your lives together, mm -hmm. so why not do it now? Mm -hmm. But you don't do that, mm -hmm. you don't have that approach. No. Right, so you... And it's nice because we've built an intimacy without the physical side of it. Mm -hmm. So it's, 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 the relationship is much, Deep, on a deeper level than mm -hmm. if you were to meet someone and then you sleep with them. And so that means like, you don't need to go to bed to be intimate, right? You just need to yeah. know the person well. Like you said, he ticked all the boxes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's the most important, yeah. knowing who he is. Yeah. His character yeah. and everything like that is more important for me than 
Yeah, and mm-hmm. even even to add on to that point, even um, at work when um, people at work interview me when they ask me about, oh, so you've been in a relationship for this long, and you haven't actually slept with her, and you haven't actually, they said, oh, you test the waters. I said no, and they they look at me. You have what? Test, you haven't tested the waters. waters. Yeah, <laughs> they always come up with different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh-huh. when I, when I say no, they look at me in a very strange way. Like, are you are you not a man? Like, what's the problem? What's what's mm. the issue? Mm. I said to them, what well, you don't have to. You, you, I can't prove to you that I'm a man by meeting someone the first day mm-hmm. and sleeping with him. That doesn't make I sense. I think being able to overcome your urges is yeah. being yeah. a man. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Definitely. Uh-huh. You know. So. A lot of people are shocked with that, and they 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 see us as from a different planet, basically. Mm, like we're, yeah, <laughs> literally. You know, they just can't understand uh-huh. how you can be with someone for mm. so long and not um, have what well, have that. And, and that's people. a good way to stand out. Some people, especially yeah. young people, they want to stand yeah. out from the crowd yeah. without realizing they are doing what everybody's doing. Yeah. yeah, they are following the crowd actually, and you are truly standing out. But, you know, to be honest, this is no news. That's the way to go, mm-hmm. right? And uh, what's, what's in store for Moses and Joanne? What's in the future? Because mm. they haven't um, told us. Yeah. There's, there's plenty in the future. Um, <laughs> how long have you been together? Uh, two, year, it's come out well, two years. Yeah, almost two years. Yeah. And you've been engaged? Yes. For how long? Engaged. engaged for about a month. Yeah. You proposed? Yeah. Where did you propose? Um, I, I heard something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a nice surprise. It was uh-huh. a nice surprise. Um, she's very, she's very intelligent. Mm-hmm. She, yeah. Every time I make a plan, she's always suspecting something. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. So, <laughs> she's always suspecting uh-huh. something. So I had to literally just complete a sweeper off her feet. Come up with a very good strategy. Yeah. And um, she went out to, to the theater with her friends um, to watch a show. And, and then I found out on a Thursday about a week or so before. And I thought this would be the perfect opportunity for me to um, see because she would not um, know whatsoever. Mm-hmm. But she kind of suspected something because I transferred money to one oh. of her friends and then she saw she was oh. she asked oh but why 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 did you transfer this amount for the ticket because mm-hmm. the same price they paid uh-huh. for the ticket oh to so and so and he kept asking me questions yeah like, why are you dressing up and I'm like because I'm going out with my friends what's the problem and he kept asking me and I even felt bad I was like can't I just have to go out with my friends? It's like he kept asking me. The was question like, was to try to divert uh-huh. her, her mind from the whole thing. And you, so, you proposed at the theater? Yes. Wow. Yeah, it was, it was, it was really nice. Mm-hmm. It was really, really nice. Um, so this was last month. Um, and do you have a, a, a set date for the wedding already? We have, yeah. Uh-huh. We have. Which is? Um, next year uh-huh. in, in March. In March. Yeah. yeah. Good. So the, the date is currently uh-huh. hush hush. So, so that's, why he wear, <laughs> that's why she wears those glasses, because she, they have power. They yeah. can see, see uh, everything, right? Yeah. So there's that in store, and also we're 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 um, completing our first property um, mm-hmm. yeah. end of August. Um, we've signed. The so you're not the type of couple who will get married, not know where to go, and go no. and live no. with no. your mom and dad. Not no, at all. No, no, no. Not at we all. from the day one we had this mentality. Yeah. It was like. We need, like, even before thinking about the wedding, we need somewhere that we're yeah, gonna. Not even to rent. Move. We we just we didn't, didn't want to rent. We just didn't. Yeah, we didn't mm-hmm. see ourselves paying someone else's rent. Mm-hmm. So um, that was one thing that we we set from day one that we're gonna go into this and we're gonna go um, fully good. into it. So you yeah. seem to have everything figured out. <laughs> so then, is there any kind of advice you'd like to give to our viewers, especially those who are young or, you know, perhaps? You know, facing this dilemma, like you were saying, yeah. feeling that pressure, you know, to sleep around or yeah. or maybe, I don't know, not having uh, any good expectations, high expectations about marriage anymore, which was your mm. case in the past. What would you like to tell them? Um, I would say two main things. When you're in a relationship and you see, you start to see signs, just jump out. You mean bad ones, bad yes, signs? bad uh-huh. signs. Mm-hmm. So especially character signs. Mm-hmm. When you start to see that the person's character, you, you question the person's character, you have to jump out. It doesn't matter how far in you've gone or how early stages um, you are in a relationship. That definitely would be one of my um, advices, I would say, because that was something that I allowed myself to to just f- flow along with, um, with things for, for, for a long time. and that. That cost me four years. Now I feel like I've wasted four years, basically. And and also, don't be pressured by what people will say. Don't be pressured by um, the mentality of people around you, because people will come up to you and say to you, "Oh, but how comes you're still single? 
after about a year or two years. Don't worry about that because the same people that are saying to you, how comes you're single for about a year or two years, they're the same people that um, they're sleeping with every other guy on the weekend and they wake up the next day feeling terrible. They're the same people that are crying themselves to sleep thinking that, oh, how come I haven't found anyone yet? So in reality, you waiting for the right person, you're actually valuing yourself. You're actually um, making sure that you prepare yourself for when that person comes. So a lot of times, because especially for, for, from a young person's point of view, that pressure do tend to want to cramp in you, but you just can't give into it because it, it happens in different angles. So you just can't give into it. You just have to be mentally strong and be focused in what you set your mind to because a lot of people say oh this year or next year i'm going to set my mind and i'm going to make sure i find the right person but something will happen and they'll give in mm -hmm. but you have to be strong mentally to see to say i'm going to go all the way yeah and you join um for me it's more directed to the young women it's like you know there's a lot of pressure out there for a young woman you see everyone get into relationships and you get that anxiety like you want to be in a relationship i want to find someone too mm -hmm. all my friends are getting married i need to find someone but you know just be patient because if you dive into the first relationship you're going to get hurt and nobody wants to get hurt so take time build yourself you know value yourself for who you really are take care of yourself invest in yourself you know work on a project study whatever it is that you're doing find a job and the right person will come along. You just need to be patient. You don't know how, maybe they'll come along in a way you never expected, like with Moses, it's like just, <laughs> you never expect, but you know, it's, it's worth the wait. Mm -hmm. It honestly is worth the wait. And it's not worth getting anxious over. So did she become your dream girl? She, uh, dream girl? she, she did, yes, yeah. <laughs> she did. I had to, I had to change my mentality and, uh -huh. and start to see the, the positive and the, with her, the positive outweighed the negatives. So there's a lot more positive mm -hmm. with her than, um, um, than the negative. And that helped me for mm -hmm. me to say, okay, well, I need to stop being deluded mm -hmm. and actually see um, that she is actually the right Good. one for me. Good. Thank you very much for your time, your story. Okay. <laughs> we wish you all the best. Thank, Thank you. you. And hopefully we'll be around for your wedding. Yes. <laughs> right? To witness that. Yes. And thank you very much for your story. Okay. So they, they, I think they did the job for us. They did, indeed. Yeah? Because you see, a lot of people, nowadays, modern dating, people don't really worry about anything. Let's mm -hmm. just find someone, you know, let's, let's just go with it. And the nice thing about their story is that one for me that uh, makes everything else possible in a relationship, they made sure that they were ready mm -hmm. for a relationship. He ticked all the boxes, yeah. as she said. Her approach was different this time. She needed to know, she wanted to know who he was. Yes, and right. she had to know who she was first yeah. as and well. And she did that because she first yeah. changed. She, she, she was on complete herself. on her own. She, she recovered her uh, self-esteem, her values. That's why she had that approach. Because if he didn't tick the boxes, she wouldn't bother, she would walk away, and this is it. Because mm -hmm. that's what people do when they value themselves and when they apply old-fashioned va uh, old values. Old-fashioned doesn't mean outdated. Mm -hmm. um, from time to time, fashion itself brings back, you know, what Things people that, yeah. used to wear back in the days, 20, 30 years ago, I don't know. And people had, have no problem with that. But so you, with this kind of values, they say, ah, oh, this is cheesy, you know, outdated. Let's Nobody just see does how that. it goes after. Yeah. Values that I think are very important. Mm -hmm. Not that I think, they are very important in a relationship. Um, Self-value. So you, you know your value before you try mm -hmm. to find out the other person's. Friendship, commitment, mm -hmm. Self more than dating. Self-respect. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, nobody, Nobody, I can say nobody, but a lot of people go into relationships, they don't think about commitment. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah. But commitment, exactly. faithfulness, trust, these are mm -hmm. values that yeah. make a relationship So we've possible. proven to you that today, modern dating can mm -hmm. have that old fashioned value um, sauce Insert, on yeah, top of yes. that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I believe that their story today uh, left us with um, some good values to observe and it's possible to do. Okay, so that's it for today guys. We see you next time until then. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And that's all for today's Love Talk show. Be sure to tune in next week to learn more on how to love intelligently.